We like to do the guns and like the head shake. That's like the fun dance move. Yeah, it's a favorite dance move. What about the disco move? You move the points really good and back and forth. Those are really good. Or like this one. Well, I think with MasterChef, you know, it's much more cutthroat. These people are really, you know, invested in trying to win that prize. And I think with Junior, it's kids that just love cooking. They have that innocence to what they bring to the kitchen. And it's almost like they don't even care what you win. They just want to get in there and get their hands dirty. On stage, you know, we have our laughs, you know what I mean? We have some good scripts, so everyone's comfortable. We've been put in a position to really succeed. Fox is behind us, you know, so I'd say it's a great work. I like playing women. and. Uh, Women are colorful, interesting, fun people, and they get to have more fun, so I get to have more fun. I do wear a question mark. Um, I have this really awesome tie clip that is uh, an old typewriter key with a question mark on it. It's my favorite It's my favorite part of my costume. That the glasses are pretty sweet. But uh, um, the costumes are awesome. I have all my all my suits custom, custom tailored, and the, the colors are kind of greeny. Sometimes they're like blue and gold. Uh, so we're like... We're like teasing a little bit the costumes, but they'll certainly become more and more traditionally Riddlery uh, as it goes along. You ended the season with big twists, and you ended up behind bars. That's what I heard. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a bit, it's a bit daunting for Booth in the beginning of the season. So he's got to figure that out and somehow get out. And he's trying to communicate with Brennan, and it's it's been very it's difficult. The food's bad, and he gets beat up. He beats people up. It's gonna be fun. And you grew a beard too, right? I tried. I can't grow a beard. You know, I'm just one jean short of getting that full beard. I was always jealous of the guy in high school who could grow that full beard in like an hour. Me, it still takes like two weeks to get anything going. So. His beard is not bad. It's pretty good. Maybe there's like slight patches or something that's not there, but you wouldn't notice. It's such an honor to be a part of a legacy that you know goes back to 1939, 75 years of Batman, and to be able to interpret this character um, in a chapter in his life that we haven't really seen on screen before. Yeah, I watched the old Adam West show uh, with my brother in the afternoons, and uh, and I read some of the comics. And yeah, everybody's a fan of Batman, I think. You know, on some level. And your favorite Batman? Who is your favorite Batman? You know, I mean. Christian Bale is, is pretty hard to top, but I actually grew up on Michael Keaton. Winston's more or less understanding of where he is in life now. And he recognizes that he's not the coolest member in the loft. He recognizes he's not the tallest or the fastest or the most good looking. But damn it, he's the craziest. He by far is the weirdest. And he's becoming a cop now, so he has his own lane, and I think that's important. You know, I've watched the whole season. I still don't quite get what you guys do in the office. Well, you know, if that's kind of a mystery, I, I think. We're just uh, biding our time for retirement. Yeah, we're dodging bullets and dodging work. We did a movie with Damon too, so yeah, we like being around each other. And you know, Max and Lamar, we all have a lot of fun. We spend a lot of time with each other, so yeah, we're pretty lucky in that sense. Eva Longoria comes in to shake things up. She plays a, um, a defense attorney, and uh, basically Peralta sleeping with the enemy. You know, it might be a controversial thing to say, but I think she's a hideous ghoul. You know. That's just how I feel. My type is more like the ghosts that you see that sit in the car with you at the end of the Haunted Mansion ride at Disneyland. Like the roundy face one with the top hat. That's like what I'm into physically. But Eva's very sweet. Look at our cast. We have Martin Short, L.A. Gould. These idiots. It's like nothing but energy constantly. Every day somebody gets the hardest laugh and we're competing for it. And sometimes I win, sometimes Jane wins, or in the scene for Drive, but the character Jane, it's really fun. Or sometimes Andre comes in with a box and destroys it. It's fun. Out of context. Out of context. Makes no sense. That joke makes no joke make sense. Okay, he comes in the room with drugs. That's always a laugh, yeah? Nick would be off limits because that's your best friend's ex-boyfriend, and we are not girlfriends like that. You know what I mean? Your man will always be your man. By the way, all people should know that, okay? Don't ever date your friend's ex. That's just like super rude. So he's off limits. And Winston, well, he's got a thing for cats and puzzles. So I think that's going to be a big stretch for CC. So I think that's probably where it's going to end with the other characters on the show. So I was going to fake knock yeah, Melissa's coffee out of her hand on set, and then I actually did it. So <laughs> coffee got all over her wardrobe, and everyone's just looking at me like, what are you doing? Like, that's not acceptable. Um, so that was fun, mixed with a lot of regret. I do feel like we are, uh, you know, we're as much a fox as any show has been. Uh, we've gone longer than 24 and House, although, yeah, still longer than 24, even though they came back. But um, 
So it's exciting. It feels great. Yeah, we got some money, man. <laughs> yeah, we were broke last year, and now you got money. It's kind of like we're the Avengers of comedy. You know what I mean? And everybody has their own superpower. You know, Chelsea has hers. Me, I'm the Hulk, of course. Uh, <laughs> and he's like Iron Man. You know what I mean? And so we all... You know, we're all, we never step on each other's power. Now, CC and him are done, but he's definitely getting a lot of, uh, took his, he's, he's smashing it out. He's a, he's a bachelor and he's, he's utilizing his stuff. The background is definitely, you know, these kids are sick and those are their circumstances, but I think that the way we often treat situations like that in life is to walk through them with humor, and I think that the show does that really, really well. And we are pushing some boundaries and, um, and, seeing what works and seeing what doesn't and but it, it's really not about you know how sick those are, kids are and how, how depressing their life is it's really about them living their lives he's going to interfere with people's lives and he's going to make it more difficult for them to do their jobs and he's going to try to hook up as much as he can which he doesn't so he's going to try that speaking about hookups yes mindy's hookup hey now where's that going to leave us uh it's going to leave you wanting more gonna want to watch more because you're a sicko. I know, yeah. They're gonna f- follow Mindy and Manny on their erotic journey through New York City. Maybe we'll hit some of the other boroughs. Maybe they could sleep together in Queens, Staten Island, Brooklyn, the Bronx, maybe even New Jersey. But that might be a little gross. So we'll, we'll see. We'll play it as it goes.